how it's possible to, to manage a company, to be entrepreneur, uh, at the same time, not only the CEOing of the fact, but to, to, to try to be a cherished, a cherished mother. Actually, how this, this all comes together, family life, my own personal life, because we are human beings before anything else. So we need to have um, the right to our, our difficulties, our confrontation with ourselves, to confront our mistakes, our good things. So we need our time but as well to be able to contribute for a house, to contribute for a home, for a husband, for uh, children. How all this comes together and how, how can I do it? It's a lot of questions I ask. Alumni, I have girls from the universities or colleagues or other women that are entrepreneurs, questions about management. And the only thing I, I answer is like, I'm very far away for, for being perfect. That the ability to be perfect is impossible. Uh, what we try to do is to, to construct and to be progressive in our lives, uh, so in our careers. Difficult is as well when we make mistakes and we are confronted with those mistakes in a professional level and a private level. This happens all the time. So uh, that confrontation um, brings us to a high level self. We have uh, more than uh, 190 countries in the world. So that means that the multiplication for different types of education and generation gaps and how we were raised, how our parents prepare ourselves for the life. All these are factors that, that uh, create our limitations. I'm not trying to be negative at all because the ones that know me knows that uh, I'm not. I'm a positive, I'm pro-construction. But at the same time, we have to analytically see uh, women cannot have it all. I'm sorry for the statement. Actually, this is not my statement. This is a statement of Indra Noi, that is the CEO of PepsiCo. She cannot have it all because uh, she says that she's always feeling guilty all the time, every time she leaves the, the daughters at home. Because instead of the daughter saying, have a nice day, mommy, they say, when you are coming back, because you are never here, because you work from uh, 5 a.m. up to 2 a.m. So it does not mean that we want that for our lives, but we cannot uh, condition women, uh, and I'm not a feminist. I believe that actually is, uh, in the society we combine different genders, different approaches, different civilizations, cultures for a benefit. That is something called society. Women actually, they, they always feel the multitude of, of their obligations. And it's something that if you do a kind of a comparison around the world, the women are always, they say, more responsible. They lack relaxation time. They have 10 jobs in one day. But I never take out this quality time from my family, from my, my, mainly my, my, my son. Um, the daughter is not here yet. So, because I think the quality time is the most important thing that we can give. We cannot postpone that because the time does not go back. There's not a day that is the same as today. So I try to not see the perspective of my life in that sense, that sense strict of day off, of working day off. I try to see according to the value I can bring into the society. It does not only bring happiness, because this is what brings happiness, but brings as well a certain type of efficiency. It brings the efficiency of uh, the management at the end of the day. When I say I really believe that we cannot have it all, it's true. We cannot have it all at the same time, but we can have a little bit of everything. And out of the day, this is a so-called balanced. For us to affirm ourselves as women and professionals, in my opinion, I've, I've reflected a lot about these issues for, for my past, my evolution. My, like I say, I'm 42 years old, far away to, to, to be perfect. I'm always in construction, I would die super imperfect. And the things that I, I like more about my path in, in my construction and in my life is that I don't close my eyes for learning. There's a type of seriousness I take of life, but at the same time I try to be joyful and, and to be reflective. Reflective, analyzing my, like I said, my own self, my mistakes, my, my problems, um, and as well the problems of the society. Not to always think that the problems are in the others. This is not true. Actually, we can choose happiness. We don't live in a world that is mandatory to be victims of any circumstances. I feel that we have a choice. I have a choice what, how we see the things. I feel I have a choice to arrive home upset or happy, despite of the fact what happened. We can always choose again every day. We live in a line. That means that we receive 
inputs from the external society to that line every day. So in some aspect, we believe that the good things are natural and the bad things should never happen. I don't believe that. Actually, we should always be neutral. And the things that are negative, even if they affect us a lot, but they have the same value of the things that are positive. The problem is that we give more value to the negative things because they should not be there. And the positive things, we believe that they are innate. They should happen. We can choose every day when we forgive, when we forget, when we don't forget how we should move on. We should choose every day that actually we should be thankful for everything the good that appears in our life. And then something that appears bad, we have to solve it. People asking why I'm so constructivist approach in, in, in the business, for example. Actually, this is linked to, to really the approach of positivism that, that we choose in, in life. Uh, this is linked uh, to what we are here in this life to do. Uh, I believe that we are here for to bring the combination of the factors that makes us happy. And, and, and like I say, always say, if uh, this is an obligation, it's up to us to mix the factors that makes us happy. I think when we stop judgments, life will be easier for everyone. And it's then a, a kind of a suggestion that you give to yourself based on your mistakes and based by your good things and to do a balance sheet with a lot of credit and a lot of debit. So I see that I accomplished so many wonderful things and I did so many mistakes and that's it. And it's human and it's not the problem, I think. What is lacking is the acceptancy of differences, acceptance of opinions, acceptancy is the word. And the solution for success is actually to leave those multiple relationships, meaning there's a relationship I only have with the children, that's it. As a relationship I only have with my life partner, my husband, only me and him. And there's a relationship that I only have with myself that I can choose to share with my best friends or male or women but it's my choice. And there's another that I share with a group. That means that we all go together, doesn't matter if it's children, if it is just other couples, if it is other friends, that I share the so-called community. This, for me, brings me balance. And we are all here to have the freedom of the choice at the end of the day. And if you don't have it, we have to make a process until we reach the so-called freedom. Freedom is not the same for everyone, but is achievable in signs of the frame that we want for ourselves. We have to find a certain way of, of freedom uh, because without it, we, are, we cannot really be happy. So uh, this is a little bit what I wanted to share and um, that answers all these uh, questions that I received. I will be always continuing to be a career woman, continue to, to improve uh, my personality, me as a person, trying to admit my errors, my mistakes, try to correct them, try to do something different, other mistakes because uh, that means that I'm risking, that means that I'm being courageous, that means that if I don't expose myself, what happens is that I will never progress. This is the choice. Non-judgment is, is the big solution. Uh, forgive as much as we can. And last and not least, nothing wrong to actually make mistakes, progress, learn and become better people. This is obligation. Be happy.